With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hi everyone, let's take a question here. In the question, some properties of sulfuric acid are listed below here. That is acid, dehydrating agent, non-volatile acid or oxidizing agent. We have to choose the property A, B, C or D which is responsible for the reaction given. That is NaCl plus H2SO4. It produces NaHSO4 plus HCl. Okay, so here we are given with the reaction that is NaCl plus H2SO4, NaHO, NaHSO4 plus HCl. Okay, so here we know that NaCl is a salt, it is a salt plus H2SO4, it is a acid, it is a acid. Okay, and here we have NaHSO4. NaHSO4 plus HCl okay plus HCl so here we are given with the properties okay but first let's see here HCl is also acid and this is also salt right so which property is being used here so if we see the H2SO4 is non volatile acid it is a non volatile acid because it stays the stable it says stable whereas HCl is a volatile acid. Why HCl is volatile? Because it can be easily separated. Easily separated by the evaporation or any other process. Okay. So here we can use say that here the non-volatile property of H2SO4 is used to obtain a volatile acid. Okay. And it's a condition also that if you want a volatile acid. If you want a volatile acid, a non-volatile acid must be used. A non-volatile acid must be used. So here which property have been used for H2SO4? That is non-volatile acid. Because here we have both sides salt plus acid, salt plus acid. But the difference is that, that H2SO4 is non-volatile in nature. HCl is volatile in nature. So here for this question our answer is non-volatile acid okay so here our answer is non-volatile acid thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today